Feather plants are easy to grow with most of them needing an acidic soil and there are many varieties to choose from that flower in different seasons. You should plant heathers in spring or autumn in full sun or partial shade. And they also attract bees and other pollinators in your garden. What are heathers? These compact evergreen shrubs are great in gardens of all sizes and can be used in containers or borders. They provide a wide range of foliage and can produce flowers of many colours. So if you're looking for some winter colour in your garden, heathers are a great choice. Planting heathers. When to plant. Heathers are best planted in spring, although some can be planted in autumn. Winter flowering heathers are widely available from autumn onwards to plant as winter bedding in containers and borders. Erica darliensis is an example of a winter flowering heather and will be shown in more detail in this video. Where to plant? You can plant heathers in containers or open ground and they like sun or partial shade but a sunny spot will result in more vibrant colour. Heathers are robust, low growing, hardy and coat well in the cold. Most heathers need acidic soil, although some will tolerate neutral to alkaline soil. Heathers for acidic soil. These heathers flower from late summer to autumn and include all Coluna species. They need neutral to acidic growing conditions, meaning a pH of 6.5 or less, and these heathers need a light sandy soil. Heathers for neutral and alkaline soils. Winter and spring flowering heathers include Erica cornea and Erica daliensis. They will grow in an acidic or neutral to alkaline soil, meaning a pH of 7 or higher. To raise the acidity, you can add well composted pine needles or composted pine bark as a mulch. Caring for heather plants. Watering. You need to regularly water new planted heathers in the first year, but additional watering after this is unlikely as heathers are fairly drought tolerant. However, you need to regularly water heathers in containers as they dry out quickly. Feeding In terms of feeding, heathers growing in acidic soil don't generally need feeding, but mulching may be needed. Apply an acidic mulch annually, for example with composted pine bark, to maintain soil acidity. This will stop weeds growing and hold moisture in the soil. Finally, in relation to pruning, after flowering give them a light trim to remove the faded flower spikes, keeping the plants neat and encouraging growth and bushiness. Heathers are plants that are easy to grow and give you long lasting colour. They help suppress weeds in your garden and are low maintenance. This variety of heather is a winter flowering heather and is called Erica darliensis. As you can see it is just starting to flower and it is early November. The two plants on the outside here have white flowers and the one in the middle usually has light pink flowers but they have not started flowering yet. I bought these heathers just over a year ago and they were in a very small pot with a width of 7cm by a height of 7cm. In this short space of time they have grown and spread out quickly. They now measure 30cm in width and 8cm in height. This variety doesn't need an acid soil and will grow in general garden soil and likes a bit of sun. The flowering time is early winter until late spring. 
So if you are looking for a bit of colour this time of year, I recommend getting some heathers to brighten up your garden over the winter months. As you can see, we are in January now, and the white heather flowers have come out and are bright and more noticeable. The foliage is also looking a healthier green. The details and the attractiveness of the bell-like flowers is plain to see. So if you're looking for some winter colour in your garden, heathers are a great choice. Ericodoliensis is an attractive plant with dark green foliage and creamy young growths in spring. The white flowers are produced in abundance from early winter until late spring. It is suitable for most soil types and thrives in full sun or partial shade. You need to mix moist moss peat with existing soil before planting deeply, then firming lightly, and water well for the first spring and summer after planting. Its flowering time is early winter until late spring and should reach a height and spread of 35 cm by 80 cm. As mentioned before, it is necessary to water particularly in dry weather conditions and trim to the base of the flower spike after flowering. <laughs> 